And now we get to importing data to create a B, and we do that with a copy from statement. Reading the copy from documentation, I see that create B accepts both CSV and JSON inputs, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to do it with both, starting with JSON. You can also refer to the documentation at the Create.io website for more details on copy from. But before getting to the dataset, let me quickly explain how to link local files to Create B, in case you are running Create B with Docker, as I am. To put it simply, the Docker container is the running environment for Create B. This means that when I run Create B with Docker, Create B does not have access to my local file system, but rather to the files given in the Docker container. So when I want to import files from my local file system to Create B, I add these files to Create B's Docker container with the volumes flag which has the following structure. So here we have the volume flag equals the path on my machine to my single file or to also a folder with files and the path in Docker. So in my machine, I create a folder called my datasets where I will store the JSON file and link this folder to a Docker datasets folder in the Docker container. And to apply these changes to create B, I stop the Docker container running create B and start it again. So I run again this command, but now with the volumes flag. And in the end, it looks like this. So from now on, I can add my datasets to my local my datasets folder, and these files will be accessible from create B. So the first dataset I'm using today is a small collection of five quotes formatted in JSON, each having the quote, author, tags, popularity, and category keys. If you want to import your own JSON formatted dataset to create a B, ensure it has a single JSON object per line and no comma separating different objects. And you can find more information about this format in the copy from documentation. I call this small collection of quotes single aligned to make it very clear that each object is in a single line. And now I set up a table in create B to store these files data. I take the objects keys as the table columns and it looks like this. I call this table dataset quotes and it has the same keys as the JSON objects in the dataset. And then I run this copy from statement, which imports single line.json into the dataset quotes table I just created. And it's worth saying here that the folder path is the one from Docker for the Docker datasets folder and not my local file path. And also, I add return summary to the end of my queries, which gives me detailed error reporting in case something would not work as expected. And now that I have successfully imported JSON data into Create B, let's check out how it works with CSV. In here, my CSV data is a dataset from Kaggle, with over 500,000 quote records. It consists of three columns, the quote, the author of the quote, and the category tags for that quote. So I download the dataset from Kaggle and name it quote dataset.csv and I save it in that same my dataset folder which is mounted in Docker and therefore accessible from Create B. Then I open the dataset to check the column names and the data types. I see there are the quote, the author and the category columns all having text data. So I copy these headers and create a table in Create B with the same columns. So it looks like this. Uh, I create a table CSV quotes with quote, author, and category, all having text data type. And now all there is left is to run the copy from statement to import this data into Create B. I copy into the CSV quotes table from the path in Docker leading to quote dataset.csv and also return summary in case something does not go as expected. And here I see that Create B reports five errors in this immense import, which is over 500,000 records. And this is probably due to some formatting issues within the dataset. But most importantly, I see that Create B ingested close to 500,000 rows in a matter of seconds. And now I can query the CSV quotes table in the table browser, and I get a glimpse of the imported data. And finally, I can export data from Create B using the copy to statement. So I head to the shards tab in the admin UI, and I see that Create B distributed my tables into the shards 0, 1, 2, and 3. So here I expect Create B to export each of these shards data into an individual file. 
So here I'm going to copy the CSV quotes table content into the Docker datasets folder. And since this Docker folder is linked to my local, my datasets folder, create the will successfully export the values to my dataset. So this is what the statement looks like. Copy the table content from CSV quotes to directory Docker datasets. So now I navigate to my local file system, in fact, to the my datasets folder, and I see four files, one for each of these create B shards containing the exported data in JSON format. For example, I open CSV quotes one.json and I see that each row was formatted as a JSON object. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial on data manipulation in create B. I showed you how to import JSON and CSV files into create B and how to export create B data into your local directory. I hope this tutorial was helpful. All the links mentioned in this video and also the create b documentation pages can be found in this video's description. And also, I would like to invite you to join our create b community. It is an open space for discussions around create b to stay connected, get help, and of course, contribute. You can join us at community.create.io. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.